I'm going to walk you through an isometric warm-up that I do every single day, especially when I get right before the court to help get my body primed, warm up, and prevent injury. First one is simply I'm gonna get a wall, and with two feet, I'm gonna lift up my heels, push into that wall. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm priming my Achilles. Get it real stiff. It doesn't have to be too long. Maybe about 10, 15 seconds, as hard as I can. Then I stop here. You could do multiple sets. For right now, I'm going to just do one set here. Once I go up a set of those, I'm then going to split my feet, get into a split stance, same thing, heels elevated, and push to that wall again. And push. I'm going to go for about five seconds each side here. But again, you should really be going about 15 seconds. Huh. One thing I'm going to mention with all three of those exercises, I'm engaging my core real tight, right? It's not just coming from your lower body. As you're pushing, you've got to be engaging your core, getting your full body into it. So that'll get your Achilles warmed up. Next thing we're going to do is simply go off a single leg. So notice here, I'm going to lift up my left leg. I'm only on my right leg right now. And I'm just going to close my eyes. What this is going to do is now it's going to get your ankles primed up. So notice here, I'm already struggling with some balance. You could go right leg about 30 seconds to a minute. Then you can switch legs, same thing. I'm going to go left leg here, close my eyes. I'm going to go for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now we're just going up the chain a little bit. Now we're getting our ankles warmed up. Once you get those isometrics done, I want you to get back to the wall and we're gonna hold a simple wall sit. What I want you to focus on though, is driving your back into that wall, really engaging your knees. Like we just mentioned, we're going up the chain here. We started off with our Achilles, we went to our ankles. Now, we're gonna focus on our knees, really driving into it. You can also add an element of lifting your heels. You want to get your Achilles engaged again. Once you get through this, you can get on the ground and simply, I'll hold it this way, you're simply going to bring your butt above the ground here and engage your hamstrings. As we mentioned, we're going up the chain here. So now we're engaging our hamstrings by lifting up our butt slightly off the ground, putting all the pressure on our hamstrings. isometric done then you can start getting a little more creative so what we'll do is we'll get to a box right now and we'll do some more single leg work engaging our glutes and our full lower body again notice here I've got my box what we're now gonna work on is a single leg we're gonna go single leg here you're gonna squat down and you're gonna hold this position right away you're gonna feel your glutes getting engaged you're gonna feel your quads burning and you're really just gonna hold this again like every single exercise, about 30 seconds to a minute. If you feel the burn, that's great. You've got to push through that. Then you can go same thing the other way. Again, working up the chain here. What I love doing after doing these exercises is I stick on the bench and then I also engage my glutes by getting my back on that bench here and I hold this glute bridge. I first start off with both legs, so I'll be both legs here really engaging my glutes, squeezing them tight, and then eventually you could also go one leg and hold it, really engaging that even more. Same thing, one leg the other way. Right off the bat, you should feel really good and your body should be, should be feeling extremely warmed up. You just worked up the chain, Achilles, ankles, knees, glutes, hamstrings. You should be feeling really warmed up, really primed. Give these isometrics a try. Let me know how it goes.